Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. And today I want to review an important feature that has been added for us in smart plans, and that is the ability to automatically trigger a smart plan based on a tag being applied to a contact. So let me let me explain what that is and how that works here. So I'm going to go here into smart plans. And basically the, the challenge that we had had kind of when we first started using command and getting into CRMs and setting up automation, that's what the smart plans is for, is to be able to automate these smart plans to run. But one of the challenges that we had is that we would have to basically manually add someone to a smart plan for the automation to work. Therefore, it was only somewhat automated. So what we are able to do now is we're able to add trigger, um, specifically adding a tag as a trigger to a smart plan so that if someone is tagged a certain way, then they will automatically be put on a certain smart plan. So let's use an example. Let's say someone is a past client. Okay, so we just closed on someone. I go into command and I tag them as past client. So by tagging them as past clients, I can then automatically set up a follow-up strategy, like maybe asking for a referral or, um, or a, a review, I mean, or maybe I just want to touch base and make sure everything's good since the transaction was closed, okay? But in the past, what we've had to do is we can tag them as past client, but that's all it did. We would then also have to subscribe them to a smart plan. So sometimes we also might want to add them to three smart plans, maybe a market update, a neighborhood nurture, and a past client one. And then we'd have to take three actions in order to do that. So by adding this trigger, it, it makes things a lot more simplified. So if I want a past client to be on this smart plan, this one, and this one, I just simply add the tag. It will trigger those three if I've set them up to do that. So let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, so let's say uh, that example is telling you that post-closing smart plan. So let's say I wanna do that. I click edit, go ahead and click on the little pencil icon, and then I can uh, have to actually have the steps. So I never did save this, by the way, when I was originally doing my, my sample post-closing smart plan. So if you see, I have to add steps and save, then pick a trigger, okay? Some people are getting kind of stuck on this a little bit that I can't pick a trigger until I've already created and saved the smart plan. So let's say I'm just going to use a very simple scenario that I'm going to create a task, follow up with, and then maybe, you know, follow up with so-and-so, reach out and see how they have been. Just a quick example of what we're going to do there. Okay. So if I save that, now you'll see it enables this little add trigger event. Okay, so there's my trigger. So the trigger right now is just contacts. I can't choose any other one. It kind of implies that maybe there'll be some triggers on opportunities or different triggers. And you'll see here that there's also this trigger for um, contact tag. So again, it's not selectable. I can't change it. So that would imply again that in the future we'll have more trigger events that we'll be able to use. And so then it lets me select the tags. So let's just say for my post closing, I want to have, like I said, pass client. Um, I, you know, I can just hit pass and then I want to have something else. So there could actually be like four different people that would end up on this smart plan. So you're allowed to add up to 10 different tags that would trigger this particular smart plan. So once I hit choose trigger, then it says this will start your smart plan when a tag is added to a contact. Any contacts that already have this tag will not be added to the smart plan. If you'd like to add them, use the add to smart plan feature in contacts or smart plan. So what this is saying is that this will happen when the tag is added. If the tag already exists, there, there was no actual trigger happening because it's it already happened. It's in the past. So you have two options. One, you can do like it says here, where you can just go back in and add everybody already has that to the smart plan, or you can delete the tag and add the tag back to the contact and that would then um, you know, trigger this smart plan to go. So that is your option. So I'm just go ahead, go ahead and click confirm trigger and you will see it's all set up ready to go. So just save that and I'm out. That's it, that's all you have to do. 
So what's cool about this feature is when used with another feature, um, let me give you an example. So in the Facebook ads, they had already added the ability to automatically add them to a smart plan. That was another thing that we were missing for quite a while is that we wanted to, we were generating a new lead, but then we, we'd have to manually at some point later go in and put that lead on a smart plan. Well, we didn't, you know, it's not the best way to kind of get that lead to speed as they call it. Um, so what they did before they added this trigger option was in command, I'm sorry, in the command ads, when I go run an ad, the Facebook ad in command, they did actually add a little option. I'll go ahead and show it to you in case you haven't seen it. They did add the option to add someone automatically to a smart plan. So I don't actually have to tag them to add them to a smart plan, but I can just do a little test here. But I was able to, to trigger a smart plan um, just, just in the actual ad itself. Now I can actually um, add them, I can add a tag and add them to a smart plan. So it's kind of up to you on how you want to manage that. So I can auto tag a contact and maybe I want to auto tag them based on like what the actual ad is. I want to tag somebody, you know, 500,000, four bedroom uh, type like ad. If that's the ad I did and I want to tag them that way, then I can do that. Um, if I don't need to tag them, if I'm not doing that kind of search, I can just go ahead and click add a smart plan. So you'll see these are the different smart plans I can add them to. So I could either do it one way by adding to smart plans or I can still use the tag that would then trigger the smart plan. Either way, it works. So it's however it makes the most sense for you in your circumstance. But uh, outside of command, one of the challenges we were having is we might generate a lead from a different source. Or in our case, we use keep, the keep CRM outside of command to, uh, to manage our funnel and nurture our leads. And so we didn't have a way where if we were to generate a lead that goes into keep for them to come into command and automatically trigger a certain smart plan. Uh, but now the Zapier connection that we use, that's another video that you can look on our channel. Uh, the Zapier connection we use enables us to actually add a tag to the contact in command, which would then automatically trigger the smart plan if we have it set up that way. So a couple different uses on how that might work for you. Just wanted to review that a little bit, but the key component here is that we're able to use a smart plan that's automatically triggered by a specific tag. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, please reach out to us at team at